In this video, we'll be installing a replacement ion arm for the Spirit Life Size Proton Pack. This will take your ion arm from this to this and fix that annoying straight up and down ion rod. For this install, you'll need a Phillips head screwdriver, a 1 8 Allen wrench, a 5 30 seconds Allen wrench, a 3 30 seconds Allen wrench, some side cutters or scissors, a marker, some glue, a ruler, a hacksaw, sandpaper, or a sanding block, a drill with a 5 30 seconds drill bit, and the kit from Great Scott Prop Shop. Please see the link in the description. Start by turning the proton pack over and begin to remove the padded material. It's glued in in a few places, so just take your time removing it so you don't damage any of the padding if you're going to reuse it. This will give you access to the back plate. Go through and remove all the screws holding on the back plate and then pry it up. Again, it's glued in a few places, so just take your time while removing it so you don't do any damage. From the underside, remove both screws underneath the existing iron arm to release it. On this proton pack, one of the screws has already been removed. The stock iron arm should pull right off now. Oh, and don't forget to take the blue hose loose. On the bottom of the stock ion arm, remove the five screws and also remove the yellow hose. Then pull back on the bottom plate and it will slide off. If you want to reuse the hose or the 90 degree elbows in the stock ion arm, go ahead and remove the Phillips head screws that are holding those in place too. Okay, this will take a little bit of muscle. Grab the ion rod and pull. The stock ion rod should slide out. Alright, let's attach the resistors to the new ion arm. For the purposes of this video, we left them gray so you can see the detail. Just take your time and install them using the provided screws. Remember, these are metal screws going into plastic. Be sure not to over tighten them. Just snug them up firmly. You don't have to go crazy cranking them down really hard. The smaller circular resistor gets attached from the inside. So just take your time to find the hole to push the Allen screw through. Install the cap block with the provided screws. Again, don't over tighten them and accidentally strip it out. This is metal screws going into plastic. The cap block is available in silver or in black. For the video, I measured the top rod at about one inch. So go ahead and mark that with a marker and cut using your hacksaw. And be careful, that metal piece when it gets cut is gonna be hot, so don't burn your fingers. Okay, now you wanna cut the other part of the ion rod that's gonna go on the bottom of the ion arm cap. I measured it out at about five and a half inches, but you can cut it to whatever length you feel works best for your proton pack. Remember, it's always good to cut it a little bit longer and go back and make it shorter because you can't go the other way around. Both pieces that you cut are gonna have metal burrs and are gonna be kind of rough to the touch. Take some sandpaper or a sanding block and smooth those edges down so you don't feel any burrs. This way it'll install in the cap block nice and easy and you won't risk breaking it. Install the cut rod pieces into the cap block, but don't force it if it doesn't wanna go. If it's difficult to install, sand it down a little bit more to smooth those edges down. The smaller rod will be the more difficult one to install because you don't have that much to hold on to. But just take your time and work with it and be gentle so you don't break anything or hurt yourself. If the rod ends up fitting too loosely, you can always put a little bit of glue on it to hold it in place. Use your drill and drill bit to drill out the existing holes in the Spirit Life Size Proton Pack. Then, using the provided screws, thread them from the underside up through the holes you just drilled so you'll see them sticking out at the top.
mount the new ion arm onto the proton pack. Line the holes up with the screws you just threaded through and go back and forth and alternate tightening one side then the other so it tightens everything down even. I need to stress here, don't over tighten these screws because they will strip out the plastic. Just get them snug. You'll be able to feel how tight it is when the ion arm will not jiggle back and forth anymore. If you plan to reuse the existing hose and 90 degree fittings, go ahead and glue those back into place. Cut the blue hose here to route it into the top of the resistor and then route the rest of the hose through the bottom of the resistor and back into the proton pack. And that's it, you're all finished. If this video helped you out, please give us a thumbs up and make sure to check us out on Etsy. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.